everybody and welcome back to video number two of the Doctrine of Baptisms. The second type of baptism is the baptism of fire. Matthew 3, 10-12 And now also the axe is laid under the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the gardener, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Luke 3, 9-17 And now also the axe is laid under the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth, and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none, and he that hath meat, let him do likewise. They came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, What shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not. John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latch of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his gardener, but the chaff he will burn with, un with fire unquenchable. This is toward the lake of fire. See Revelation twenty eleven through 15 People get this all messed up and twist the scripture to apply it to the day of Pentecost, Acts 2, 3. It is wrong and not correctly applied. Let me use some logic, which God is for. If baptism means immersion, then how can you be baptized with cloven tongues Think about that for a minute. John, as mentioned in the introduction video, his baptism was toward the repentance in preparation for receiving the Messiah, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, the Son of God, God in the flesh. And he reveals to them that this holy God in the flesh shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, which came in Acts chapter number 2, and with fire. That fire is eternal judgment. According to Matthew 25, he shall separate the sheep from the goats. The sheep shall reap life everlasting, but the goats shall reap everlasting fire, which is the fire that he is going to be baptizing them with. Either way, the godly with the ungodly, the just with the unjust, shall be baptized one with everlasting life with the Holy Ghost, and the other one with fire not quenchable. That is a baptism of fire. So brethren, love the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God and keep His commandments, and the next video is going to be about the baptism of a good conscience toward God. And read the King James Bible. Thanks.